Have you ever made a pancake wreath? Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. I have Leo with me today and I'm going to be making a pancake wreath. This is one of these wreaths that has so many benefits. It can fit between storm doors because it's a wreath that's on a, a flatter side but it is huge. It makes a beautiful impact. And the second thing is it only uses one roll of 10 inch deco mesh. That's 10 inch by 10 yards, which is amazing. And the results are so, so pretty. Before we get started on the video, I just wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers. And for those of you who are not subscribed, Leo would love for you to hit the subscribe button, the bell, so you are notified every time a video comes out, and also a thumbs up because it helps this video and my channel grow. Now let's get started on our fall pancake wreath. Right, Leo? For the base of this wreath, I am going to start off with this beautiful deco mesh. It has a little foil on it. It has burlap. The colors are absolutely stunning. Originally, it was $9.99, but because Hobby Lobby has all the holiday stuff right now at 50% off, I got it for $5. And this is a roll of 10 inch deco mesh by 10 yards or 30 feet. You need 10 yards of deco mesh for this method. Since we're only using one roll, our wreath base is going to cost us $5 plus $1.25 for the wreath form from the Dollar Tree. That's $6.25 total. And then we're going to decorate with different things. I'm going to decorate with ribbon that I also got at Hobby Lobby. I got this beautiful pumpkin ribbon and this shimmery orange ribbon. I'm going to be using a rotary cutter to cut my deco mesh but you can use a heating tool scissors and you're also going to need 12 pipe cleaners not 18 this time we're going to need 12 for the base i'm going to be using some silver pipe cleaners because i know they're not gonna show but i think i need to go shopping again i need some holiday pipe cleaners so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put six pipe cleaners just like we usually start on row one and two we're going to put that right in the middle and face it towards the inside I'm trying to pull just a tiny bit when I do this to make sure that it stays in place because hot glue doesn't always hold it in place, I'll have to admit, especially the pipe cleaners that have foil on it instead of that fuzzy stuff. What we want to do on the outside row is put our pipe cleaners on row three and I'm going to put them on the intersection right here so they go in between and it's going to kind of zigzag and it's going to balance out, it's going to be beautiful. If you have the tendency of using two rows what you can do is you can go from one side to the other from row three to row two and when you bring your pipe cleaner together make sure you twist on row three because we do want that deco mesh pancake to be towards the outside of our wreath form and I'm going to do the same thing right here I'm going to go in from one side to the next side of the intersection because we want to make sure this is going to be set in place and not go anywhere but I am making sure that I'm tightening it up on row three and that's it, our wreath form is ready. Now let's get started with our deco mesh. I moved my mat over a little bit so I can add a ruler at the end because we are going to need 30 inch strips. As far as my ruler, I'm going to take it out until I see five and a half inches because I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, and this is going to be six, half of it on the mat, half on the ruler, plus the 24 I have here hence 30 inches. I'm just going to even out the edge here. As I said, I'm going to be cutting my deco mesh into 30 inch strips and we are going to need 12 of these. When I cut each of the strips, I just roll it naturally and put it to the side. This is going to prevent any unnecessary fraying. So now we're going to basically make a ruffle. I'm going to fold about half an inch or to an inch on one side. And I usually like to use deco mesh that you can clearly see where the center is because this is a long piece of deco mesh. So I'm going to start collecting right there on the brown line. 
going to fold in the back and I have my beautiful ruffle. How pretty is that? I'm going to start on the outside because it kind of comes high. I'm going to just push it down with my fingers and then twist. Two nice twists. And now let's work on our ruffle. What I like to do is I like to take one of the sides and where it's folded, I'm going to overlap it and go into one of the grooves. Then I'm going to grab kitty corner from this side, this end right here, and I'm going to do the same thing. By doing this overlapping, I'm doing two things. Number one, I'm making sure my pancake is continuous. And number two, I'm making sure that the fraying is staying in check and my ends are not just, you know, wishy-washy all over. So now I'm going to grab my next one and I'm going to do the same thing, first working on the outside row. Grabbing my next decomass strip, I'm going to fold it and I'm going to gather it right in the center on the brown line. Folding about an inch in the back and bringing it together. I'm going to be putting this on all the rows, and that includes the ribbon. For this particular wreath, what I do is I'll do the outside row, just like you see. Then I also do the ribbon for it, and then I put the deco mesh on for the inside row because it's going to be overlapping. If you do all the ribbon at the end, you're just going to end up moving the deco mesh here and there, and I don't like disturbing deco mesh when it's in place. So I'm going to put this on the side for now, and we are going to prepare our ribbon. The one and a half inch ribbon that I'm going to be using, I already showed you this one. One, and this one is wired but I decided to add this ribbon this burlap ribbon is two and a half inches in width and it's 30 feet so 10 yards nice and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into 12 inch strips I'm going to need 12 pieces of this burlap ribbon in case you're wondering why I'm zigzagging instead of wrapping it around a 12 inch ruler or something and that is because I like to do the uh, dovetails along with cutting the ribbon at the same time. So let me cut that off. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grab these together and I'm doing the dovetails and cutting the ribbon at the same time. Just like that. Fold it in half. Look at that. I love doing this. Next, I'm going to do the pumpkin ribbon. I'm going to do 12 inch strips and we're going to need 12 of them. Same thing with this ribbon. We're just going to fold it in half at the endings. And since this one's much thinner, I'm just grabbing two at a time and cutting my dovetails. For this gorgeous orange ribbon, I'm going to cut it into 22 inch strips and we're only going to need six of these. And just so you know, this glittery ribbon is a little bit on a softer side. You can see right here versus this one that's thick. And that's going to help us because we are going to be making sweet little bows with this ribbon. Let's review our ribbon. Our burlap two and a half inch ribbon, 12 inches, and you're going to need 12 of these. Same thing with our one and a half pumpkin ribbon. 12 inches and we're going to need 12 of them and then the orange we're only going to need six of these and we're cutting them at 22 inches let's take care of the ribbon that's going on the outside i'm going to grab the burlap ribbon plus the little pumpkin ribbon how cute are these then i'm going to fold to find my center gather in the center and now i'm going to put it on the pipe cleaner, the silver pipe cleaner. let's make another one I'm just layering both of these. Then I'm going to find my center. And then as I'm bringing it together with my thumbs, I'm pushing it up. With these fingers, I'm pushing it down. And that way you have this kind of tail going on. Let's put this on our ruffle. And after I twist it in place, I'm going to twist about an inch up. Cut the rest off with my wire cutters fold this in half and fold it back. Now that my outside row is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my pipe cleaners and bring all six of them up, making sure you come up between the actual deco mesh pieces. Now I'm going to continue doing what we did on the outside row, which is fold about an inch or half an inch and start gathering our ruffle. Grabbing one of our pipe cleaners, we're going to attach on top and then I'm going to do the same thing with the overlapping. As you can see, my silver pipe cleaners are going to be hidden behind the ruffles. All our deco mesh is on. Next, I'm going to grab the burlap and our 
pumpkin and we're going to do the exact same thing we did on the outside where we just overlap the two folded in half and then we're going to bring it together same thing we're going to push with our thumbs up with these fingers down so we have this beautiful tail and we're going to start adding these to the center and we're going to leave the pipe cleaners in place we're not going to cut them off yet this is what I have so far so we have the outside ribbon on the inside ribbon on but now we still need to use up our orange one. To make our bows, I'm going to be using my mat because I want my tails to be three and a half inches. So I have my square, which is four inches. And what I'm going to do is at the one, two, three and a half mark, that is where I'm going to place my tail. Now I'm going to make an awareness ribbon just like that. And I'm going to bring this one to the other side. So we're going to be in the middle of this square right here. And all I'm going to do is hold right here in the middle. That's just basically how I measure to make sure my tails are the same. Holding it right here in the center, we're going to find the center of our loop and bring it down. And we have a perfect bow. We're going to just gather it just like this. I'm going to place it in the center of our ribbon and we're only doing this to the top. Now we're going to twist our pipe cleaner, cut about an inch off from the center of the bow, fold it in half and fold it back. We're going to cover the center of the bow, but look how perfect this sweet little bow comes out to be. And it was so easy. So same thing, we just need to measure three and a half inches. This is how I do it. I put in my little square, then I'm going to do this awareness ribbon thing and put it on the other side of the square. So one, two, three and a half. Hold it in the middle because we need to measure the center. Bring it to the center and just bring the ribbon together. That's it, look how cute this is. I'm going to continue doing this going all the way around on the top row. To bring out the white in the pumpkin ribbon right here, I'm going to grab these vase fillers and pick three of the big white ones. Next, I'm just going to take the white ones and cut them in half. I actually like using a letter opener. I'm not worried about cutting myself and it works really, really well. It cuts this like butter. And all I'm going to do is a little bit of hot glue and hot glue it to the center. This is going to cover that silver pipe cleaner I've been using and it's going to give it a really pretty pop of white. You can definitely leave the wreath like this if that is what you want but look how adorable it is with these sweet little bows. I absolutely love how this turned out. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little pumpkin sign from the Dollar Tree Thankful and Blast and it works really nice together because this blast is like this shimmery orange that kind of matches our bows and also the foil edging on our deco mesh. I grabbed three pieces of felt, but you can use whatever you want. And then I'm going to take this jute cord out. Next, I'm going to grab a pack of these maple leaves and I'm going to take out the green ones. Then very carefully from the side, I'm going to lift my beautiful sunflower up and I'm going to cover the little holes using the leaves. We're just going to kind of disguise it. There's my first one covered. Then this one I'll face down. We'll have this one covered. Because we have this green leaf, I'm not going to go too far here because I want the, the word thankful to really show. And then we're just bringing the sunflower back. For some reason, I really want another green leaf right here. And now I'm just going to hot glue the sunflower right back. In the back, we're going to put three pipe cleaners. I'm grabbing my pipe cleaners, doing a little two finger seat right here. And I'm just going to start hot gluing them on. So we're going to do hot glue put our pipe cleaner on, more hot glue on top, and now we're going to bring in our felt little piece. One on this side and one on top. I'm just bringing the pipe cleaners in 
before I put it in place. And this pumpkin is perfect because the bows are going to be right outside of it and all the bows are going to show. And I'm just attaching the pipe cleaners to the first row on a wreath form. Now I'm going to look where the top of my pumpkin is. Remember the jute cord we took from the sign? We're going to use it. And I'm just going to make a few knots, cut off those plastic things. And we are ready to hang this wreath. enjoyed this video Louie and I would love to say thank you so much for staying with us and if you would love to see more wreath tutorials and are not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing hitting the bell and of course don't forget to hit the thumbs up button for now Louie and I are going to say bye bye and we will see you in our next video bye guys <music>